A popular Santa Monica Mexican restaurant is bringing back its guacamole festival menu. La Sandia chef Julio Camberos joins us today to show us various types of guacamole. Now, silly me, <laughs> chef, I thought guacamole was a simple thing. And look at this table of stuff that we have here that is guacamole. Yes, uh, we have our annual guacamole festival. Mm -hmm. It goes on from May 1st through June 15th at La Sandia. And we're in Santa Monica, so... I assume that guacamole can be as complex as you want or as simple as you want, right? Yeah, I think, I think that it can be as complex or as simple, but the main thing is the quality ingredients done simply. That's, that to me is the most... Well, and can I just bring up one, sure. uh, the, the avocado, right? The main ingredient, how do I know what a good avocado is? How do I know when it's ripe, when it's all that stuff? How do I know to pick one? Well, number one is when you, when you, grab, when you go to the grocery store, number one, that mm -hmm. it's... That it's uh, Firm, but it's not hard, and that you can just barely make a little indentation with your thumb. Okay. But you don't want to bruise it. So sometimes in the morning he'll go, and the avocados are not ripe. Uh huh. And then later on, uh, with a little squeezing, just like some of us guys, uh, yeah, well, we they're become they're... mature. <laughs> <laughs> with a little squeezing. Sandra, mark that down, would you please? Thank you very much. Um, is, is what color? Is this the color that we're yeah, looking I for? Yeah, I mean, they're, 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 you could see the dark green in it. It uh -huh. looks a little, they look like they're kind of black, but they're really not. Uh -huh. They're really just a really deep forest green. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. What do we got going on? What so are we here, here we're going to, I'm going to do a couple different guacamoles. The one we did earlier right there is the Baja. Oh, here And we go. our Baja has uh, lime, kiwi, jicama, Fresh mango, Ooh, strawberry, Love mint, mm -hmm. and uh, just a little bit of ancho. Is that the completed rub. version there? That's a completed version. So this we, is a chunky, uh, well, you know, hearty. That's the other thing. That okay. You don't want to really over mush, the, over mash the, the, the guacamole. You want to muddle it only. Because wow. you want, you want the, the flavor of that, that the cream and the, uh, the oils that the avocado has. Mm -hmm. That's going to cut through the spice that you're eating when you're eating spicy food. So you ah, need that. Very good. All right. Okay. So here, now what we're going to do is we'll do what one is called the sur. Sur. Which would be the south region of Mexico, Oaxaca okay. version. And then what we'll do is we'll just start off with a few uh, avocados. Are there, uh, uh, when you say the, the, that version, the, throughout Mexico there are different versions of avocados? There's different regions. Of regions. And the ones we're featuring are the Sur. Okay, Sur. The Pacifico. Pacifico. The Norteño. <laughs> Norteño. And the Yucatan. And the Yucatan. And the Yucatan. Good. Okay. So here we're going to do the Sur. Okay. And the way we do the Sur, we have some chopped tomatillos. What's a, a chopped tomato? And tomato is a, it's, it's a little green, looks like a green tomato with a husk on it. Okay, that's the stuff. Okay. Here, so you can see what that is. Is that? Okay. And then here we have just some chopped white onion. Got it. Okay. And we'll just squeeze a little bit of lime juice there. Love it. Okay. Love and this it. is very just a very simple one. Now in Oaxaca they eat all kinds of interesting ingredients down mm -hmm. there, and one of the ingredients they actually eat are. Is Grasshoppers. You said grasshoppers. So, so literally grasshoppers. Yes, and, well, the, and the reason why they're high in protein, they eat on corn and alfalfa. They're really good for you. Just you know that. I want you know that everybody wants to eat them. I want you to know, the, want you them, know so. the kerfuffle that uh, was created when we heard there was gra there were grasshoppers probably <laughs> coming. <laughs> what is this you just put in? That is cotija cheese, and cotija <laughs> cheese is somewhere oh, between yeah. a feta and a parmesan. Really okay? nice. So, and we just muddle this together. It's very simple. You don't you don't need I'm to keep doing that. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, and this is how we, we just do this table side. That's how we do at La Sandia. Okay. So tell me what the difference between, because I've seen, of course, the guacamole that's much more, uh, you know, smoothed out and not chunky like this. Is there, is there something bad in that or is it just? Mm, well, what happens is that you don't really get a chance to taste the different ingredients. Sometimes it all mm -hmm. kind of marries together. It mm -hmm. doesn't quite taste as fresh. Okay. You know, right. And this is, you can't get any better than that table side version. I love that. Okay. So, so what else can we do to this? So now that, that was the sur. The that's only thing we're missing here is our little. A little grasshopper, grasshopper okay. which we don't have which here. We today. don't have today. <laughs> no okay. grasshoppers were hurt in this process. Okay. okay. Go ahead. <laughs> now on the next one we'll do is a Pacifico version. Okay. And we'll just put the uh, uh, avocados in here. Uh huh. And I'll just I'll same cut, kind of thing, cut yeah. a quick avocado for you because some people sometimes want to see that. Oh, see, that's a. What, I can never do that. That's the other part. Right. And I just kind of take the seed out with the knife. Uh huh. And then just take it out here. Good. Scoop it out, okay? Excellent. This is the Pacifico version. And this is the Pacifico version. So here, we actually have, we'll put a little bit of serrano. Serrano? Chopped walnuts. That's the peppers, right? Right, That's, right. This is going to be a spicy one. Chopped walnuts. Chopped walnuts. A little orange. Ooh, fruity. Okay. And then here we have cotija cheese. 
What's the difference between this cheese and that cheese? This, you know, the cotija cheese, it's a, it's, a, it's a cheese that really doesn't melt. It's made with, it's a milk cheese, but it doesn't really melt. It okay. stays firm. Okay. Almost has a tofu type texture. Yeah, I was just okay. Say that. Yeah. So here we'll do the same thing here, and we'll muddle this. Muddle. And squeeze a little lime in there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll just. Uh, Except and while you're finishing this, because we only have a minute or two left, you have okay. tequila here. Correct. We never want to forget the tequila because that makes that well, that's the best part of a. Right. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're also <laughs> featuring a couple different margaritas there. Uh -huh. One is our kiwi margarita that we have right there, mm -hmm. and that's going to go perfect with the guacamole that we have. Nice and refreshing, especially for that weekend Santa Monica weather that we're having this weekend. I love weekend. it. It's going to be hot okay. too. I love it. And the one thing about this particular, we finish with. Some fresh beets. Ooh, interesting. And top it off with a little bit of guacamole. And then we have some dried cascabel chile, which is our little dried chile that has a little rattle in it. Oh, yeah? So that's why it's called cascabel. And is it going to be pretty spicy? It's going to be a little spicy, but not too spicy. Because like, remember, like... the oils in the guacamole is going to cut right through that. Nice. There it okay. is, everybody. That's the Pacifico version, and this is the... Sur. Sur version right there. Okay, thank you very much, you. Chef. This is fantastic. For more information on La Sandia's Guacamole Festival menu, just head to our website, go to kcal9.com, and then click on Scene on TV.